Shalom Yasharala. First and foremost, I'd like to start this lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechaha Kwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and taught me this 100% truth. Double salutations to the Akiam out there spreading this word in truth and sincerity and shalom to the few Akwath that are listening in today. Um, today I'm back at you with another lesson. This is a quick lunchtime lesson. You know, I'm still at the plantation field right now. But, um, you know, the spirit was on me heavily to bring this lesson out. So, um, you know, I wanted to bring this out as soon as I can. So I've managed to step away. And anyways, we're going to get into it, man. The title of today's lesson is Some of Us Hopeful Elect will have to die for this truth you know um i'm just gonna put it to you bluntly you know i'm not really gonna beat around the bush in regards to the topic it is what it is you know but um with that being said we need not to fear because at the end of the day we're in a wicked society man you know really and truly what are we here living for when we're just surrounded in wickedness and, and, and you know, we're suffering every day because we're trying to live a righteous life in a wicked world. And this world is, is the most wicked that it has ever been. And yet here we are trying to upkeep the law, statutes and commandments of the of Yahweh Ba Hashim Shai to the best of our ability, man. So, um, and you know, we're heading into the digital age, you know, the implementation of the MOTB, pursuing to... Um, Revelation 13 and 16 and um, you know uh, the these devils don't even want people to be eating meat anymore you know people are going to be eating bugs all right people are going to be enslaved you're going to have a social credit score you're going to have a, um, um, a what, what's that called again um, a UBI universal basic income they're trying to implement 15 minute cities in which, you know, 2nd Ezra 15, and I believe verse 19 says, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Um, because what, what they're trying to do with these 15 minute cities is that anything that you could possibly need is going to be within a 15 minute radius. So you ain't never going to have to go any further than that. And this is the, the world to come. The new world to come under Esau, Edom, which is why we are praying and prophesying on the downfall of this wicked place, man. Because this is not the way to live. You know, where we Israelites, you Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, which make up the 12 tribes of Israel, you're still at the bottom, man. Jake's still getting gunned down in the streets. You know, Jake's still um, serving a harsh prison sentences, yet their so-called white counterparts... They, they, they can do the most heinous crime and they get away with it, man. Talking about, oh, we got mental health issues and, and all that shit. We've got mental health issues, man. We suffer from PTSD. That's post-traumatic slave disorder. That's what we suffer from. But they don't take that into consideration. So with all that being said, why, why would you want to live in this wicked society anyway, man? And of course, bringing balance to it, I understand it's easier said than done, but this is an exhortation. Exhortations build you up. Because you might feel like, oh, well, I don't want to die. But then when you put things into perspective, then you understand, well, you know what? There really isn't anything to live for here anyway. Because if you was to survive and now you're in Esau Edom system and you don't take the C hit, say Esau Edom system, this MOTV system was to go on for, for 10 years. Okay, say it was to go on for 10 years. What are you going to be doing for 10 years? Living off the grid? You know? Don't know when your next meal is going to come. Okay? You, you, you out somewhere in the rainforest. You know? That's crazy, man. So the fact of the matter is, some of us are going to have to die for this truth. Okay? And um, really and truly, death is just a... Um, it's just a transition into the spirit world. And we're gonna be with, 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 with our Lord, man. Yahweh Ba Hashim Yahweh Shai. You know, we're gonna be uh, 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 with our brothers in the heavens, man. 
You know, we're transitioning from, from the earthly realm to the spiritual realm. Temporarily until... And then we're going to return back with Yahweh Shai. If we have to die for the truth, we, we will return back with Yahweh Shai. When he comes to destroy this, this wicked society, this wicked kingdom. So really and truly, it's a win-win situation. Alright, but anyways, as you know, I'm pressed for time. This is my lunch break, so without further ado, let me start bringing out these precepts. And the first precept I want to bring out today is Psalms 116 and, five, and 15. Psalms 116 verse 15 reads, um, Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. Who are the saints? The Israelites, beginning with the elect. It says here, Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. You know, because um, take big bro Yahweh Shai, for example. You know, Yahweh Shai, he didn't want to go out that way. But he understood that that was the will of the Heavenly Father. And ultimately, he had no choice but to, man. And he, he pretty much, you know, uh, um, he took the low and, 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 and he went on that cross. He didn't try to rewrite the will of the Heavenly Father, man. And now Yahweh Shai, he's, he's reverenced in the heavens for what he did. And he's about to get that same reverence here on earth once the kingdom of heaven is established here on earth. Okay? So we understand as these things are happening, what that means is that the kingdom of heaven is closer than, than we'd ever believed, man. But we need to go through this rocky path in order to, to, to get to the, you know, it's lucky, in order to get to the kingdom, okay? And we'll be highly regarded as well for, for, for you know, not bitching up, not saying, okay, okay, Esau, and I'll, I'll take it then, all right? And just, just pretty much fulfilling the will of the Lord, man, you know? Presenting our bodies as a living sacrifice for, for, for this truth. Okay, let's read that one more time. Psalms 116 uh, verse 15. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints, man. Okay. And as I said, really and truly, if we die in this truth, it's still a win-win situation, man. Because really and truly, look, didn't, uh, wasn't it um, Apostle Paul? Um... When he was stoned to death, right? He was stoned to death and, and, and he actually went into the spirit world. And he, he, um, he, he spoke about how beautiful it was in the spirit world and how it would be unlawful for him to describe what he'd seen in the spirit world. But, you know, he wanted to remain there. And what he meant by it being unlawful was that he, it was so beautiful that he couldn't even find the words to describe the beauty of the spirit realm. You see? He couldn't even he couldn't even find the words to describe it, man. That's how beautiful the spirit world is. So, but we don't we can't say the same thing here down on earth. You know, I, I'm I'm here in my car. You know, I'm just looking around the streets. I see I see uh, it's all dirty. There's there's litter everywhere, potholes everywhere. Uh, 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 the people look gloomy. They look down. You know, so so really and truly, what what are we here living for, man? There's nothing to live for here, and it's only going to get worse. I just seen a post talking about how um, in the last seven days, the world has had 7,779 earthquakes globally, besides, you know, let alone Turkey. So what are we here living for, man? This, this life is shit. We are still yet this day in our captivity, Baruch 3 and 8, so why not be with the Lord? You see, let's go to my next precept. This is Revelation 12. And I'm going to try to go through these quite quick, Salaki. You know, as I said, it's, it's, uh, it's my lunch break. <laughs> Don't want Esau, you know, hunting me down and shit. This is Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. And of the sea, for the devil was come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he have but a short time. So Esau, Edom, he knows he has a short time. He sees all the prophecies coming to pass. He sees the men 
across the four corners of the earth, out on the highways and the byways. He sees the, the daily sit downs that be going on the various streaming platforms. He sees the chariot sightings, how the chariots be above the camps. The chariots, the brothers be, be, be uh, uh, witnessing these chariots, man. Um... You know, Esau, Edom, he, he sees, uh, uh, um, you know, the, 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 the rise and the uproars of the people, the famines, um, 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 the great awakening. All right. Esau sees all these things happening, man. And he also sees that people, just that your normal, normal average people who ain't even Jake, they're waking up like the heathens. They're waking up to see who, who the true, uh, 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 um, um, what's the word? The true plague of the earth are, uh, which are you Edomites. You're the reason why the economy is a shambles. You're the reason why uh, uh, these wars be going on. You're the reason why we have all these sicknesses, all these illnesses. You're the reason why we have so many unrighteous decrees. The people are waking up to this, man. So Esau, Edom, he knows that he has a short time and, and that he's on his way out. And that's why he's moving fast with this thing. Look, how, look at what's happened over the past three years, man. And even even these uh, uh your, just your normal Edomites, you know, they 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 they're, they're struggling now, man. You know, Jake, we was looked at as poor ones. Now these Edomites, they they you know paycheck to paycheck, struggling, having to prioritize now, you know, um, maxing out the credit cards, things of that nature, man. So the, so you know the tables are turning, the curses are slowly being alleviated. Of the Israelites and they're going on to uh, uh, the Edomites, man. Okay. Let's go to Revelation 2 and 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Some of us brothers are going to have to go into prison, man. Going to have to go in those concentration camps, you know. Some of us brothers might have to face the guillotine, you know, and have our heads chopped off for, the, for this truth, man. But you see, what we don't understand is that if, if you are of the elect, the Lord is going to put a heavy spirit on you. I should say we, because it could be me as well. If we are of the elect and we have to face the guillotine, the Lord is going to put a heavy spirit on us to be able to face it and, and, and to not bitch up. Because, like, face it, man, it's, you know, look. The men back then, in the ancient world, they was a lot more manly than we are now. You know, now we have a, a whole generation of bitch niggas, man. So, long story short, no one wants to face the guillotine. No, no one wants to do that. But the Lord will put that spirit on you to, to just be like, you know, fuck it. Let, let, let me just, um, you know, just, just, just take me out, man. Because what the fuck am I living for here anyway, man? I, I I can't even buy or sell. I take the MOTB, but then the, the only options I have to eat is is, is fucking maggots and, 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 and worms and, 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 you know, all sorts of abominable things, man. So so what, what, why am I here? Fuck it. Take me out, man. That's the spirit that Yahweh Bar Shimei Al Shai is going to put on his elect. Because really and truly, what are you living for if, if, if you are here in Esau Edom? Um, um, society, man, there's you ain't, you ain't living for anything worth having. So, so you might as well just be 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 of the Lord, okay? Re Revelation two and ten. Fear no, none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days, a period of time. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. We're fighting and we're striving for that crown of life, man. That incorruptible crown. We're not fighting for a crown here on this side, man. You know, this this world is 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 is, is on its way out. You know, uh, what's that? First John two and fifteen, where it talks about uh, uh, to love not this world, because pretty much this this world is, is is passing away, man. So why why are you gonna try and make it in Esau Edom's world when it's on its way out? Okay. Let's go Revelation 3 and 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. And this is Yahweh Shai speaking. Now, what's the ultimate hour of temptation? When they're tempting you to take that C hip, to take that MOTB. Then you, you, you might have your woman, 
Oh, just take the MOTB. Just take it. The kids are starving. How are we going to eat, baby? You, you, you got to tell that woman to, to get to step in, man. If, um, if, if you know, she's trying to uh, 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 make you be a part of the B system, man. You got to tell that bitch to get to step in. We're going to get multiple wives in the kingdom anyway, man. All right, see, we need to be kingdom minded. Look what Yahweh Shai had to bear. Yahweh Shai is the greatest example. Who, 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 that, that's one of the worst ways to die, man. To just be hung on the cross. You're just bleeding out. You know, you're just, you, you, you're just there. Um, uh, you got the nail in your, in your hands. And, and, you know, you're just hanging. Niggas can't even do pull-ups, but they, you're just hanging there like this, right? And then, uh, you know, you try to readjust yourself and you're just back in that same position. That is one of the worst ways to go out, man. But our Lord and Saviour, Yahweh Shai, he endured that. He suffered that. That's the greatest example, man. Making his body a living sacrifice. We're going to have to make our body a living sacrifice if it comes to it, man. We already do by doing this work. It takes energy. It takes time to get into the spirit of the Lord. And to do these lessons, to do these sit-downs, to go out on the highways and the byways, that takes time, that takes energy, man. That's making our bodies a living sacrifice, really and truly. We could just be at home, watching Netflix, got, uh, 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 being with family, doing whatever, man. But we make time to do this work, okay? Revelation 3 and 10 again. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. Which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Because everyone is going to be tried of this thing, man. The elect, the non-elect, all, all, all the heathen nations. We're all going to have faced this hour of temptation. But only the elect are going to prevail. All right, You're, you're even going to have uh, uh, those of the other nations. Maybe even some two-third Jake who uh, decide, well, I, I'm just going to go off grid. You know, I'm not going to... Um, I'm I, 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 I'm just going to, you know, I'll do with my own farming or whatever. I have to be off the grid. Right? But but they're, they're still not going to be saved, man. Only the elect will be saved. You see? Let's go to Sirach chapter 2, Ecclesiasticus chapter 2 and verse 1. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. The ultimate temptation is going to be that M-O-T-B. You can't buy or sell. You can't eat. You can't drink. You can't be a part of society because you don't want to take that M-O-T-B. You have no access to money because you don't want to take that M-O-T-B. That is the ultimate hour of temptation, man. Okay? Verse 2, set thy heart aright. Set your mind aright. And make not haste in the time of trouble. Don't, don't. Start bitching up. Don't start moving all frantically now that that time of trouble presents himself. And look at this bugged out Edom man, man. He just threw. Looking at Jesus Christ. <laughs> bugged out Edom man. Threw. <laughs> you know? Set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in the time of trouble. Doesn't it say in Proverbs 3 and 5 to trust in the Lord with all thine heart? And lean not onto thine own understanding. So, so we need to be trusting in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai wholeheartedly, man. Even when when all uh, when it looks like all odds are against us, we still have to trust in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, verse three: Cleave unto Him, and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. How are we going to be increased? You know, brothers are going to get spiritual power. Brothers are going to be immortal. Brothers are going to receive salvation. That, 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 boy. That is a, that's a, man, you can't sleep on that blessing. To be saved from the coming troubles, that is a blessing, man. Okay? We're going to have the heathen nations under our feet. We're going to have slaves. We're going to have a kingdom. We're going to inherit planets. We're gonna we're gonna have the law, statutes, and commandments written in our inward part, so we're never gonna go off. We're always everything we do is gonna please the Lord. All right, this is what this is what's gonna be. That's that's what it means by that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. 
okay? We're going to, look, uh, uh, Psalms 149 says how the Lord is going to beautify the meek with salvation, man. So that's a blessing you can't sleep on and not to be taken lightly, okay? Let's go to um, 1 Thessalonians 4 because, you know, if we have to die for this truth, it is what it is, man, but, but you know, that's not to be disheartened because that's just uh, uh, um, a testimony of our faith if we have to die for this truth, man. All right, so let's go to 1 Thessalonians 4 and 13. And it reads, But I would uh, not have you be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, those which are dead, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Yahweh Shai died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Yahweh Shai will Yahweh bring with him. Okay? It says, For even for if we believe that Yahweh Shai died and rose again, even so them which even though even so them also which sleep in Yahweh Shai will the most high bring with him. So when you know Yahweh Shai returns, okay, he's gonna come back with those that have died in his truth. Those that died for this faith, they will be coming back with Yahweh Shai on his return. Okay, let's keep reading. For this, verse 15, for this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. So if that brother died in the truth and we remain here on earth, we're not preventing the salvation of those that died in the truth and are asleep right now. We're not preventing that. We're going to meet with them up in the air, in the clouds, in the chariots. Okay. Verse 16, for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout. With the voice of the archangel and with the trump of the most high and the dead in Yahweh shall rise first. Okay. It says the dead in Yahweh Shai shall rise first, man. So we don't need to worry. Either ways, we're going to be in a win-win situation. We're going to be in a win-win situation regardless, man. Whether we remain alive on the earth when Yahweh Shai returns or whether we die in this truth. It's a win-win situation, man. Okay, and as I, as I got into at the start of this lesson, who the hell wants to remain in Esau, Edom society, man? Wicked as all hell. Everyone's bugged out. You know, you're, 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 you're eating uh, defiled food. You know, what is the point, man? There, there's, we, we're, there's nothing worth living for here in this wicked ass society, man. So we might as well be of the Lord. Okay. This is um, verse 17. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord, to meet the Lord in the air, you see? And so shall we be, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. All right, so we're going to meet with those that die in the truth in the air. Or if we die in the truth, and, and, and then the, the elect uh, um, that remain on the earth get beamed up. We're all going to meet in the air, meaning we're, we're going to meet in the chariots, man. We're going to meet in, in, in the chariot of, of, of the Lord, Yahweh Shai. And you know, uh, it will pretty much look something like this. Hold on a second. So like here. Lord willing, I can find it. Just just to like um, paint a picture in your mind. Uh, damn, where is it? No, we're gonna be in the chariots. Something like this, man. Let's 
Hopefully you can see that because I can't even see it. This, this is what we're striving for. This, this, is, this is how we know that we've won the battle. When we're in the chariots with our Lord Yahweh Shai, along with the rest of the elect, and, and you know, we, we, we're being crowned by Yahweh Shai, seeing the destruction of Babylon the Great, and, and you know, we're, we're celebrating because we, we, um, we overcame. Okay? Because we overcame, man. This is what we're striving for. Let's read um, verse 17 again. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds. Okay? In the chariot. To meet the Lord in the air. In, to meet in Yahweh Shai's chariots. Because you know what it might be. We might have little chariots beaming up the elects from the four corners of the earth. And then it all comes together in, in, in one chariot. That one chariot being the fathership, Yahweh Shai's chariot. Where we shall be with the Lord in the air, to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we be, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. So from that point onwards, we're going to be with the Lord perpetually. Okay? Verse 18, wherefore comfort one another with these words. And that's why we go into these, and that's why we have to do these exhortations, man, to let you brothers know that, yeah, we might have to die for this truth, but it's okay, man. We're in good hands. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. And lean on to your own understanding. Okay? We're soon out of here, man. We can, we, all the signs are pointing to Esau, Edom's downfall. This kingdom is on its way out. Okay? You know, we just have to uh, uh, um, suffer patiently. We have to endure until the end. Alright? But we're very close, man. Every day, we're one step closer to the, to the uh, uh, downfall of this kingdom, man. Alright? This is going to be my last precept. I'm going to go to Second Ezra. <gasps> 16 and verse 68 for behold the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you and they shall take away certain of you and feed you being idle with things offered unto idols you know like for instance in them concentration camps they might try and re-educate you to um submit into the will of the beast you know, submitting to this B system, accepting it, okay? They, they might try and do that to you, man, okay? Verse 69, And they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden underfoot. So if you fall for it, like, you then submit to it. Like, okay, okay, Esau, uh, you know, I'll take your C-hip, all right? Just spare my life. Well, you're going to be in derision and in reproach and trodden underfoot. On the foot, ultimately, you're going to be through, man. You're going to be done for. Verse 70, for there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. So those that fear Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, which will be the elect, there's going to be a great insurrection. There's going to be, pretty much, we're going to have the whole world against us, man. Esau might put bounty on our heads. I say, oh yeah, bring this elect member. And, 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 you know, dead or alive, you'll be rewarded with this. And this is why Isaiah 59 and 19 says, And when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against them. Okay? Because we're going to have to be defended, man. Whether that means that an angel will step in on our behalf, or the Lord just raises us up with spiritual power in order to, to, to fight off our enemies, man. You know, something like... Uh, something like this just to give you an illustration being raised up with godlike power man in order to, to to prevail and to fight and defend ourselves against our enemies okay um verse 71 they shall be like madmen sparing none but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the lord okay for they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses so we ain't gonna have nowhere to stay no more that's why the scriptures say i think in second Ezra 15 that we shall be as pilgrims on the earth man we're constantly gonna have to be on the move we ain't gonna be able to dwell in one place for too long because esau edom is going to be out to get the elect man this is the seriousness of the times that we're heading into you know um verse 73 let me see how much time I've got. But I've got like 50 seconds left. 
I'm going to try to speed it up. Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as gold in the fire. We're being tried now, and we're going to continue to be tried up until the point of our deliverance. Okay? Hear, ye, hear, O ye, my beloved, saith the Lord, behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. So the Lord is bringing us into this time of trouble, and he's also going to bring us out of this time of trouble. That's why Proverbs 3 and 5, trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto your own understanding, man. Um, verse 75, be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for the Most High is your guide. And the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, saith the Lord, Yahweh, let not your sins weigh you down and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. So sin less, offend less, you know, keep the law, statutes and commandments to the best of your abilities. Rehearse the righteous acts. We know that we're in this wicked, sinful flesh, so we're not going to get completely perfect. But that's not, that doesn't give you the green card to just go and do be a be, just be a wicked nigger, man. You know, we're, we're meant to be rehearsing the righteous acts and, 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 and adhering to them and keeping them to the best of our ability, man. All right. Until we be changed. Pursuant to First uh, Corinthians 15, I believe, like verse 45 on down. OK. Um, so yeah, man, that's pretty much the point, you know, again, some of us hopeful elect will have to die for this truth, but that will just be a testament of our faith. And we know that the Lord is going to come with healing in his wings, man. So hopefully this lesson has been edifying. And until next time, I say Shalom.